All right, we're back with more questions and more answers. I have a terrible time kicking when I swim. Should I keep working on it, or is it okay to swim with a buoy in between my legs? So, kicking should be more of a natural action as opposed to a forced one. It should just happen versus trying to kick really hard or kick at certain times. If it always feels like you need to kick hard, it's probably a position issue rather than a kicking issue. If you can manage your position in the water better, there's going to be less of a need to kick. These exercises are effective at helping you learn how to manage your position better. You need to learn to feel the support of your lungs, and then you need to learn how to leverage that support to create body position in the water. The ball float is the simplest float, and all swimmers should be able to accomplish it. Simply take a big breath, squeeze tight, and patiently wait for yourself to settle in the water. If you're concerned about becoming uncomfortable, simply perform the float in shallow water so that you can stand up as necessary. We're going to combine skills here, working on moving to different positions while aiming to retain a sense of balance. You can move as slowly or as quickly as you'd like, with the intention to remain in total control throughout. To challenge yourself as you improve, move into more difficult letter positions, or move faster or slower than you feel comfortable doing. With the active jellyfish, you're trying to keep your arms and your legs pointing straight down and trying to keep them at the same depth. You may find that your legs tend to sink and you'll really need to lean forward into the water to prevent that from happening. Notice how the second demonstrator is better able to find her position comfortably and that happens by preferentially pressing her chest into the water and leaning forward. That should help you avoid feeling like you need to use a buoy all the time. Using one infrequently isn't that big of a deal, however it's something you want to avoid using all the time. Now if you always race in a wetsuit, you might be able to get away with using a buoy more often, however the exercises above are still going to help your swimming technique. Remember, if you're struggling with excessive kicking, it's a position issue. Fix that and you'll be on your way. I hope that helps, and if you have any questions for me, please put them in the comments below.